Hi there, this is Lorna Green, the Nomad Yogi, and today's message from the mat is a little bit about heart openers. What on earth does it mean when your yoga teacher says, let's do some heart openers? Well, in yogic terms, any movement that opens up the front of the body, specifically around about the chest and the shoulders, is considered a heart opener. And it's called a heart opener because energetically the Anahata Chakra or the heart chakra is situated in the chest area. Heart openers physically reverse the uh, mechanical constriction caused by forward leaning posture that is so common today. Uh, a shortening of the pecs will pull the shoulders round and this tightening in the front here uh, actually has an effect on the opposing muscles such as the serratus and the lats in the back, making them longer and weaker. Whether you sit at a desk, hunch over a computer, you sit behind the wheel of a car, even actually uh, as athletes, especially if you're doing a lot of um, heavy lifting using biceps and so on, um, this tightness in the front and loose weakness in the back of the body will contribute to feelings of pain between the shoulder blades and that chronic tightness, stiff feeling that you can feel throughout the length of the spine. So any kind of spinal extension or back bending is going to counter these effects. This round shoulder curved spine is a posture that sends out a message. It says I don't feel very confident, I'm fearful, I'm unhappy, depressed even. Your body, your nervous system works on a feedback system. So when you adopt this fearful, unconfident posture, it sends a message to your brain, which in turn acts accordingly. So quite simply, change your posture, change your attitude, and indeed change your outlook on life. <laughs> In traditional Chinese medicine, the muscles of the body are associated with organs and emotions. If we look at the, the little pecs in, in the front of the body, first of all, the pec muscles in TCM are associated with the liver and the stomach, so uh, detox and digestion. And emotionally, uh, are very strongly associated with the anger. So as you work into your heart openers and begin to stretch out and open the front of the body, you might find that you can release a lot of anger, uh, a lot of emotion that's been trapped in the body. On the opposing side, uh, if we take the lats as an example, they're actually associated with the pancreas, which emotionally is attached to feelings of hopelessness, low self-esteem, uh, distrust in the world around you and in yourself. So imagine what a difference you can make by releasing emotions that need to be removed and by strengthening the muscles that are weaker and therefore strengthening your feelings about yourself. So going from a lack of self-esteem to feeling very confident. By changing your posture, you can make a significant change in the negative emotional patterns that you're living. So that's a little bit about heart openers. The next time you have the opportunity to do a heart opener, you hear your yoga teacher saying it's time for heart openers. I hope you embrace them and realize that it's much more than just your posture that will change.